Uh, I just wanted to hear him is see that. See that poop back there? I might poop. And when I have my radio on and my earbuds in, if you guys don't hear me talking, which is very seldom, but this is what you hear. trail is like this. Well, from where we came in. Uh, sorry. It was from where we came in at the, uh, we thought, not the beginning, but uh, Veterans Monument Park. And it was uh, six miles from the, to the end of the this trip. And uh, it wouldn't let us go any further. So we either had to go up a road, which we didn't very care about for a minute there. We thought we'd go up the road, and then we turned around and said, No, nah, let's go back, and then we'll go further on from where we parked. And this is what it sounds like without my tunes. I always have my tunes. It's the second time in 30, 40 years that my tunes haven't worked when I want them to work the most. You know, I usually wear my tunes when I go to a concert. Why? Maybe deep between sets, I'll listen to stuff. And at the same time, if it's loud, I put my earbuds in with nothing going on and dampens the sound coming in. I did a stupid thing one day. I'm at the Mill Street Brew in Sturbridge. Uh, Southbridge. And I'm, oh, I heard these guys before. I better get some earbuds because earbuds because it's really close up. Oh, I don't got nothing in the car. I got nothing. I walked, oh, maybe a mile down to the CVS and bought 15 of earplugs <laughs> for the price of 485 earplugs. And, uh, yeah. It, on the way back, with the package in my hand, as I looked down at the package in front of me, I first thing dawned on me that, wow, there are my earbuds hanging from my ears on the, on the, my chest, not even listening to music, but thinking about the walk I have to and from. And then all of a sudden I think, oh, I should just put my earbuds back in, but no, I had to do that stupid thing. And I needed them. <laughs> That's my story. I'm, I'm sticking to it. By honest to God's truth, just for me. Look at this. Nice bridge, huh? I'm surprised somebody hasn't written all over it more. Yeah. That's a kind of a thing to do. Uh, I'd like to go back to the Coventry tail, Trail, Dennis, and uh, see how those pillars are doing on that bad highway. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I oh, they have repaired somewhat from what yeah, we went through. And that was probably a year ago, too, oh, we yeah. went. <laughs> but they're working on your road between your house and butt. And they've been working on it for months and months. It's as bumpy as it ever was. But all they're doing is putting in curbing. So when they talk, oh, no kidding. Oh, okay. You know why? Because there's a lot of traffic on that road. Period. But just think of the traffic that's going to go up and down that road, Dennis. They are going to fly. They are going to fly going on Route 6. Once that's fixed, flat, and done, that's going to yeah. fly. Do you think between that little section, uh, 
at the Dunkin' Donuts just over the line that you're not going to jump on a brand new highway and do 65, 70? Yeah. Go by that way station and just glide right into that 30 miles an hour district and... Whew, nice road. That's all you're going to say. Nice road. About time, huh? No wonder your car broke down. <laughs> Can't travel that every day and not have to worry about your car. Let's see, I'm yanking now. Because Dennis will wait. I wasn't looking for one, but I just suggested it. That's part of the conversation, isn't it? Oh, but I wasn't talking to Dennis. Look at him, watch him wobble. Okay, straighten it out, Ryder. Straighten it out, Ryder, you're on video. Oh, yeah, you are on video. I'm glad you told me I'll straighten out Clean? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. From one side to the other in 50 feet. Yeah. He, <laughs> that's why I ride with this. This is going to be a number one trail. If we can get down here more often, then this, this is a nice trail. I like this so far. If you, I figure it's going to be good all the way to the end. They, they wouldn't change this. Oh, you could be right. I can see where I put my hammock. I haven't got oh, to use it yet. Most definitely. Right down here, it's got to be a little Dennis, we're, we're in the woods, man. We're in the woods. You could pretty much park your tent anywhere. Uh, the guy down the street said, he heard a couple of noises, opened up his back door with the light on. There's a bobcat sitting in his backyard. Wow. That'll kill any oh, that'll, that'll, kill, that'll kill anything. You don't let your cat out, do you? Who did you, no, not at all. Did you see the woman that got mauled by a uh, bobcat or something? Yep. Probably felt bad for the dog, but the dog was raised to be a killer. Yep. So. Well, what could she do, Dennis? She probably tried to fend him off as much as uh, I, not getting hurt. And then uh, after that, it was just, you know, beat him as far as you can. Because you know you're going to die. Wow, that's tough. It's an animal. It does not know. I don't think it does. I don't think it has the wherewithal to comprehend that uh, that's not a piece of meat. Moving like a rabbit. Ooh, a little bit bigger, but I think I can take it. And it's a bobcat. It's had bigger stuff than you and I. Deer. Pack of them getting on some moose. Yeah, but you get a pack of them, Dennis, and that's, that's kind of it. Oh, behind us, Dennis, on the left. Didn't see her. Oh, I was going to say that guy looked like the Hulk going out of the... Going out of the tunnel. Or it should say in the tunnel. Look at him, he's a big monster. Look video. It's a big time video. say anything I want and get away with it, except, uh, yeah, that's all. All right, it's two of us. Okay. <laughs> I it was you, but I, I thought he was the first one. Thanks, man. Yep. Oh, really? Three of us. Oh, the other guy already went, Dennis.
All right. This uh, path is called Pop River. I don't have much video, so I think I'm going to shut it off. But this is Hop River, and we're headed back to the car because we got stopped by a barricade at one end, and we had done who six miles or so. And so we came back, figured if we got anything else, we'll go the other way and then then some. All right, I'm out and over the road. Yeah. Well, yeah, the radio busted today. Yeah, it did. Not busted, but it didn't work. Whatever. I guess I'll have to talk to myself and the camera. That's what I said to Brett first. I said, yeah, I'll talk to Dennis. I told you before that when I'm on the camera, Dennis is always way up front. Well, because I have the camera on. He's not a camera fan, but he takes it because I can't stop. No, I won't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> hey, youngsters. Get that one. <laughs> hey, youngsters. All right, I'm done. Here comes a log, and I'm going to try to jump over like, <gasps> no, I'm not going to go on this side. <laughs> Whoa. All right. No metal. Not working today.